Hi everyone, my name is Yuna Biagioni and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made this mixed media portrait called Veiling Unveiling. I made this tutorial as part of a so-called video hop initiated by Shannon Green. After you watch my video, you are invited to watch the video of the next person in the hop. You can find the links to all the videos and the information in the description box below. I've prepped the paper with a layer of gesso and now I'm starting with my background colors. I'm not working in an art journal this time, but I've chosen to use a sheet of watercolor paper because I want to work on a larger scale. I've taped off a rectangle on the paper of about 35 by 42 centimeters or 13 by 16 inch and will work within that rectangle. I'm working with artist grade acrylic paint this time in a complementary color scheme of purple and yellow. Right now I'm blocking in a purple background for which I'm mixing various purple and blue colors and also add in white to make lighter tints. I'm applying the colors randomly so that the background doesn't become too monotonous. When the background is fully dry, I start sketching out the head with a brown pastel pencil. First I draw a circle with a horizontal line for the eyes and a vertical line for the nose. Then I turn the circle into an oval shape. As you can see, I'm sketching quite roughly, generally, trying to get a feel for where I want to place the features. I've decided to paint an Asian woman, which is new for me and so a bit of a challenge. My plan is to try to create the illusion that the woman is in a dark environment, but that there is a light coming from above that is shining down on her. I will try to create that effect in a later stage though, when I'm painting. Now I begin blocking in the lights, mid-tones and darks of the face, still only using various tints and shades of purple paint. As I said, I will be working with a complementary color scheme. But when you mix complementary colors, you get a neutral brown or grey. These neutral colors can be beautiful and very useful, but I don't want to muddy up the whole portrait. So I've decided to make the basic portrait in a monochromatic color scheme, with only purple in various shades, tints and tones. Then in a later stage I will add some yellow accents. At the places where I want to create the darkest values, I'm adding a bit of brown paint to the purple, to get a really dark shade. I'm working with a large brush, which helps me to keep my strokes broad and prevents that I get caught up in the details in this early stage. When the first layer is blocked in, I make sure it's completely dry and then I start drawing in the features again. And then I go back in with my paint. I will repeat these steps several times, alternating between adding layers of paint and sketching in the features again. I'm working with a smaller size brush now to create a bit more detail. I'm using angled brushes for this painting, 
which I like because I find they give me more control than flat brushes. On screen the color can be a bit misleading. The dark paint looks almost dark blue, but in reality it's a dark purple color. Here I start painting the strong white highlight that will suggest the light that's shining down on her. I want to give this light a bit of a yellow glow, but I'll do that in a later stage to avoid that the purple and yellow will mix and create a brownish color. Every time I go back and make sure that the white highlight is painted in again. I'm also painting white highlights on the hair to suggest the reflection of the light. Now I'm adding a layer of translucent paint or glaze in a dark color to deepen the dark tones in the portrait. I'm using a large filbert brush because that makes it easier to feather and smooth out the glaze. I'm adding several layers of glaze and in between I make sure to dry each layer completely. At this stage I'm drawing the features with a dark brown and white pastel pencil to create the darker and lighter details. Now I'm applying a yellow glaze on top of the white highlight. I don't want it to be too bright, so after applying it I wipe part of it away with a paper towel so that there remains only a thin layer of glaze. The lower part of the background gets a layer of glaze in a darker yellow. Here I'm doing a few touch-ups to smooth out the transition between the glaze and the paint. Some last alterations to the mouth. And there she is. She looks a bit mysterious to me, as if she's hiding and then after a while revealing parts of herself, veiling and unveiling. <laughs> 